the plane of safe days are over, right? So I say we stand back, do the Mickey Mantle, right? Point to left center and give her a swing. Food Network star Michael Chiarello has died. He was 61 years old. People reports the celebrity chef died at the Queen of the Valley Medical Center in Napa, California on Friday, where he spent the last week being treated for an acute allergic reaction that led to anaphylactic shock. I always wanted to, wanted to cook for a living. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful way to love, love and care for people at the same time. You're never going to make somebody unhappy. Michael's family, who was by his side at the time of his death, released a statement to the outlet paying tribute, writing, his culinary brilliance, boundless creativity, and unwavering commitment to family were at the core of his being. He brought people together through the joy of shared meals, fostering lasting memories around the table. Food is always one of those affordable luxuries. When it's really tough on the outside, we tend to sporge a little bit on the inside, looking for something new, innovative, and innovative. Maybe a little less restaurant dining and a little more home entertaining. Michael's career with food started in the 1980s when he worked in fine dining. His TV career as a chef began in 2001 with his first shows on PBS, including Michael Chiarello's Napa. I season everything. Sometimes people say, oh, you know, I'm going to season the whole thing at the end. I think every step along the way you should season. That way you're building in flavor into your dish. Two years later, Michael started hosting a new show, Easy Entertaining, on the Food Network. It's the Chiarello classroom, alfresco of course, as I entertain some college students and some recent grads and share some tips on how to entertain for less. Who says that a fantastic meal has to be expensive? I'm not a screamer. I, I think I've screamed my days out when I was younger, younger, younger as a chef. Uh, but uh, uh, I am not afraid to push. Fast forward to 2009, Michael jumped networks and appeared on Bravo's Top Chef Masters. So we want flavors that are <laughs> big, yeah. where somebody says, wow, that, you know, you, we need to nice stand out. Right? He made it to the finals and placed second. What do they eat? Whatever I cook for them. Throughout his career, the famed chef also wrote multiple cookbooks, including his most recent in 2013, Michael Chiarello's Live Fire. I have a lot of experience. I'm, I'm a restaurateur and a chef, but I've also had a handful of specialty foods companies. So I've developed a couple hundred products and gotten them on the shelves and put them through. So I have a decent idea of what it takes. Michael's family tells people they hold dear the moments we cherished with him, both in his kitchens and in our hearts. His legacy will forever live on in the love he poured into every dish and the passion he instilled in all of us to savor life's flavors. When I cook meals like this and I get a chance to think about what it was like walking around the canal banks, picking some fresh grapes, seeing the raisins dried right out in front of me, almonds right off the tree, those are memories that will last a lifetime. Michael is survived by his four children.